Welcome back to A Pattern a Day. This is day 29, and uh, this video is kind of an explainer video for the concept of the pentatonic group as a vehicle for transposing scales. So early on when I started using uh, uh, transposable fingerings, I found that there was a group of fingerings that were the most comfortable fingerings, at least to me, they felt good, you know. And, and I noticed that so I wrote them all down and I started looking at them and I noticed that they made a pentatonic scale. Well, a pentatonic scale, a major pentatonic scale, is one, two, three, five, six in any key. So the scales that were the most comfortable to play seemed to be B flat, C, D, F, and G, those scale roots. And they make a B flat major pentatonic scale. Well, any, pe any pentatonic scale can be spelled in fourths. So D, G, C, F, B flat is five consecutive fourths. I mean, that's pretty deep into the circle of fourths. So then if you transpose up, if you take the, the D, after you play all those, a D scale, the G scale, the C scale, the F scale, the B flat, B, B flat scale, if you go to D again and transpose up, that gives you an E flat scale. And then you can just go around the fourths again with your pinky down. So it's like E flat, A flat, C sharp, F sharp, B. Well, if you add your last pinky, then that'll give you an E scale and an A scale. I'm gonna demonstrate this, and you should practice this a couple times. I'll just play the scales up and down. Here's D. G. C, F, B flat. Now I'm going to E flat, but I'm actually gonna play a D scale, but I'm putting my little finger on a transpose up. It wouldn't matter which one, but I just kind of like this one. So that's the E flat major scale. So I'm gonna leave my finger in position and I'll go to the G scale that I'm playing, but it'll sound like A flat. Now I need to go to C sharp. I'll leave my little finger down and just play C. Going to F sharp major, F major scale transposed up. to B major, I'm transposing up B flat. So now I'm done that cycle again, but I need to go to E, so I'll just add my other little finger and transpose the D up a whole step, so now it's E. Move a fourth to G, but keep it transposed, it's A. I'm gonna do all those in a row. Here we go. For this next collection of patterns, I would strongly recommend uh, playing the circle of fours, starting on D and using the pentatonic group as a transpositional vehicle. And then after we get uh, through this set of patterns, then starting to apply that to other root movements. So we'll get this concept into your intuitive uh, memory bank pretty quickly. I hope this was helpful.